Okay, day three and we're having our breakfast at the hotel and we're gonna leave for the airport soon because our flight's in like a couple hours. Okay, we're at the airport now, it's day three. And um, it was a super fun trip. I had a lot of fun. I'm just gonna do like a little debrief. Mini stream to look at the camera. A debrief um, and what my thoughts are. So we're just gonna get situated at the gate and I'll update you guys. We're waiting for the air train. We're waiting for the air train right now um, to take us to the security check. a few things that might make your New York trip easier when you go. Number one, their subway system is actually super easy to understand. You can just put in um, your destination on Google or Apple Maps and hit the transit button. It'll tell you which subway you need to take, which platform to go to. Um, so it's actually super simple to understand. I thought it was gonna be confusing, but it made our lives so much easier, um, especially because we didn't have a car and you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. Um, we lived, or lived, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> we stayed in the Manhattan area. Um, so a lot of things were walking distance, but if you need to go out of the city, you're definitely gonna need to take the subway. Also, it's super easy to pay for it. the subway. They have this tap, tap, tap system. Um, so if you have Apple Pay or Samsung Pay um, or an e-wallet, super easy to pay for your subway. You just tap on the screen and you can go. Two, bring comfortable walking shoes. Um, don't make fun of my socks peeking out of my shoes that I had to get from Old Navy. Um, <laughs> but my feet were killing me. I wore my chucks. Um, and that was a mistake. So wear comfortable walking shoes, running shoes, um, whatever you need to do because you are going to be doing a lot of walking. Um, I would not recommend bringing a car there. There is so much traffic and um, a lot of people don't have patience there while driving. Um, so you're gonna need comfortable walking shoes if you wanna avoid blisters like mine. Three. There are so many halal food options. However, um, we thought that there was gonna be a lot more halal restaurants, like sit-in restaurants, but if you're in the Manhattan area um, and you're gonna be doing a lot of walking around, every street corner, every block has a little halal food cart. Um, we didn't see a lot of restaurants there. A lot of those are out of the city, so if you go to Jackson Heights, Queens, um, Brooklyn, they have a lot of halal restaurants, but Manhattan does not. Four, um, it made our lives so much easier to have our grand, the um, Zahra's grandparents with her. Uh, so we had a lot of hands, you know, to help out. However, if you are traveling, um, just you and your spouse or alone with your babies, um, having your carrier and the stroller is a huge help because even when Zahra got tired of being in all of our arms and we were tired because we were walking and traveling, um, it was nice to just pop her in the carrier for a bit that I was wearing or we can just put her in the stroller and she was able to view everything while taking a seat. So make sure you bring both of those if you're going to New York, um, especially if you don't have your car with you. Five. Um, this is not very common in Seattle and it's not really common in Jacksonville, but something I found really interesting was a lot of places still take cash. Um, so if you have cash, um, it might be better because you get to avoid paying the tax. A lot of pay, um, a lot of people, a lot of little stalls that are outside or stores um, in New York City um, will take cash and they won't make you pay tax on that. So that's pretty cool. All in all, our trip was super fun. Shout out to Hudson's parents for sponsoring the trip. Um, and we had an amazing time. Let me know what you guys thought of our little vlog. And we'll see you next time on Meals with Minnie.